Hello my friends, how are you doing? The 1.1 update for Affinity Photo is out, it is free to download and a lot of improvements come with this update, but there is one change nobody's talking about. And I think this is the most important change. I think even Serif themselves might not know how big of a deal this is. Let's have a look. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. So here's a list of the improvements and fixes. Most of them have to do with the performance and the stability. There is some cool things in here like for example improved lens correction for Canon, Tamron and Sigma. There is improved PDF import export and also raw CR3 support for Canon EOS 850D. And here we have the biggest part, the biggest change, median blur mode for frequency separation. This is amazing and I want to show you why. So let's switch over here to our photo. And first of all, I want to show you with this portrait what the big deal is. So let's go to filter and frequency separation. And you can see this is the classic mode with Gaussian blur. And this is what it actually does. It has a high filter and then the low filter basically is just blurring the image. But what Gaussian blur does, and you can see this clearly here when we zoom in here a little bit, is to make everything a little bit wider. So you can see here, this is how white the hairs are here. But now if I blur them, this is getting wider and wider. And also what we are seeing on the right side is that we have a dark halo around the hair. Down here you can see a much bigger dark halo and that is a big problem. Now when we go over here for example to the glasses and the skin, you can see here around the face for example this is the face edge. If you look at this, this is where the face ends, this is where the glasses are starting. So now if I apply my Gaussian blur here, you can see there is a huge dark halo around this edge and also around the rim of the glasses here. But if I switch over to median, you can see here that this stays in the area where the face is. Now median introduces other problems. For example, down here, we have this kind of bridging between these sharper corners here. But the good thing is that this actually, as you can see here, creates a nice sharp crisp line. And this also helps me with the hair. If you look over here, we do have a little bit a halo around it, but it is not as extreme as with the Gaussian blur. Now let me switch over to a second picture to give you an actual example why this is important. So here we have a shirt with a pattern on that shirt, right? So now again, if I go in here, frequency separation, you can see, first of all, I get now a bright halo around this dark line, but also I get this shape left behind. So even if I would remove this from the image, this is what I still would see. And this is not really helpful because then I have to fix the high part and I have to fix the low part of my frequency separation. Now let's switch over to median and you can see here, first of all, there is no halo around my line. It's a nice crisp line. And secondly, on the shirt, I don't really have a line. And even if there would be a little bit, I can make the radius a bit higher and you can see now it's white. So if I apply this here, like so, and then we turn the low frequency off, you can see I am left with this. And for this, I can simply use, for example, my clone brush, and then I can simply paint this out. And usually this is important when, for example, there would be a fabric texture or there would be a skin texture, stuff like that, something we don't really see here. But you can see right now that this is removed from the shirt. I don't have a residue halo and I don't have a residue pattern. This is now a clean shirt and the line is removed. So this is extremely helpful. And this is a simple example. You can imagine how much more helpful this is when, for example, we have this kind of grain here in the background or we have a skin texture, stuff like that, where actually the texture is important. So this is a really, really big change, a really big deal. And I will also do a tutorial on that 
um, on how to make the best use of that in a future video. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the new update and see you soon. Also, don't forget about my live stream this Sunday. It's going to be really amazing. I will talk about the tricks of the masters on how to get better, more consistent and more impressive composites. See you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.